Okay, you guys wanted to see all the dance wear. Be prepared. I am not gonna grab all the tutus because they are stored away right now and I do not wanna have to get them out and put them back. <laughs> but all the other stuff we're gonna go through. That's just the leotards. Now, if I went through everything I have for dance wear, we'd be here all day. Nobody wants that. Like I said, I have the tutus that are in there. I have a white one, I have a black one. I have a plain pink one that's like this. And then I have two fancy ones, the light purple and the white one, which you guys have seen before on my Instagram. This is my prized one I got like a year or two ago. Um, this is from Conservatory by Prima Donna. It's a very, very beautiful custom blue and pink pancake tutu. Um, and I love that one. And then this, oops is my other favorite. This is a long, beautiful, like romantic tutu from Dancewear by Lena. Um, and it is, it's just beautiful. Like the quality is amazing. It looks so good on everybody. Um, but yeah, I love this one too. I have a lot of other like warm ups and things like that, but that would take so long to go through all that. So I'm literally just gonna go through like my skirts and leotards. Um, try to figure out which one we should start with. I guess we'll start with skirts first. Um, I am not trying things on because that would really take all day and I'd have to pair them with everything. This is literally the most basic black skirt that I have had since I was probably in middle school. And at one point it had sparkly like sequins attached to the top for a costume I needed it for. But it's literally just a basic skirt. But it is a great length. It's just a body wrappers. Um, it's great. This is a custom one that I love because I custom did the length on it based on another skirt that I like. And this is from Diane Dancewear is made in Canada. She is on Instagram and I think she has an Etsy shop. I can't quite remember. I should know that. I'm really bad because a lot of these I ordered so long ago, but I love that I custom length did this one. It's a pretty lilac color. I based it off of the leotard that I love from Freed of London. This is my skirt, leotard, wow, skirt. This is my favorite skirt in the whole world. I got it when I was in London in 2019. I don't know what it is. The only thing is I wish it was a little longer because it doesn't quite cover around me, but it does have like elastic um, band and it is just like, it's a beautiful print, but it's also the perfect like length and everything. I'll just kind of wrap it so you can see. Like, this is what I mean by I wish it was just a little longer because it doesn't quite come around me as much, but it's just like, it's beautiful. We could sit here all day if I did that with all these skirts, but that's what I based this one off of. I literally measured this skirt and did some of my other skirts that I custom ordered based off this one. Um, another one that I think I did the same thing with is this one. I have a few skirts of these. Um, so these are um, ballet skirts by Lucinda. Um, this one is just a pretty like gray lace and I love it. It's very classy, but also really unique. I also have from her, I'm probably not gonna find them all in one go here. This is my favorite one from her. I got it to go with a leotard that I have from Delalo that I didn't have a color to match it. And this is like a beautiful like olivey green and it just, it looks really good. I didn't realize until I tried it, it looks so good with like my deep pink leotards and stuff like this color combo looks so good. Um, I just happened to do it one day and went, oh, I love this. Cause I intended to wear it with the leotard it matches. Um, which I do, but uh, yeah, so that's also by Valley Skirts by Lucinda. This one is also by her. This is a reversible one, so it's a circle skirt, and it's got this pretty green, and then it's got this like gray blue on the other side. So it's reversible, so it's two layers too, so it just feels, it's got this nice thick waistband, it just feels very comfortable to wear. I am more of a traditional wrap skirt girl, but I do like when I get a good like circle skirt. So a good circle skirt example here. Now this goes with the leotard I have. This is from the Catherine Morgan collection. Um, so this is their, like, it's just the white one. It's a really good length. It's a little bit of a high low, but not too extreme. And it has the wide waistband. And then we also have these two that I keep in this little bag because they're mesh. So they're a little more delicate. Um, this one is by Valley Skirts by Lucinda, same as that first long tutu, and it is also gorgeous. It looks great on, it flows really well. The mesh skirts are great. And this one has that nice wide waistband too. And then this other one is from, Gra I think it's Grandland Dancewear, I think. Um, it's a little wrinkly in here, but it's just a pretty white one with little scalloped edges on the bottom. Um, 
and it's just like a good length too. They're probably wrinkly because I keep them in this little mesh bag to try and keep them from getting like caught on anything or stuff because they seem just more delicate in their fabric so I keep them in there. Let's see this one. Uh, this is this one was gifted to me and I did a video on it earlier and I'm trying to remember I want to say it's I, I'm going to pull this up on my phone because I'm going to be really wrong and I'm going to be really mad at myself, so give me a second here. Adagio Ballet Boutique. I knew it. Okay. So this is one of the items from Adagio Ballet Boutique, which you can find on Instagram. I'm following them, so it should be easy to find. This is such a gorgeous, it's a cream yellow kind of colored skirt. It's. I wish it was a little less sheer, but that's just my personal preference because I love this skirt so much. Um, I just have to find the right leotards when I wear it with stuff, but I really love this skirt. Um, and with that, from also from Adagio Belly Boutique, I got this one, which has like, and you can also go back in my video a little while back where I did a whole video on the stuff I got from her and I actually tried these on if you're interested. Um, cause the square neck leotard I got from her is like one of my favorite things. So then this is just like a. It's kind of a grayish blue. I know it's really hard to see with the light from the ring light, but it's like a grayish blue um, wrap skirt. It, this one's a little shorter, but it's still a really good width, like length and fit. Let me see if I can turn the brightness down a little bit. Okay, let's see if that helps a little with the lighting. Um, this is just a really simple, really simple. I wanna say, this doesn't even have a tag anymore because it's so old. I wanna say it's body wrappers. Generally, a lot of my older ones are them, but it's just a simple plain pink ballet wrap skirt that have that. This is also really old. Gosh. But I love this color because it's like, a, whenever I feel like I want a little more coverage, I go for a darker skirt. It's still a little sheer. Um, this is Mirella, um, but it's just a plain dark green ballet wrap skirt. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> this used to be one of my favorites, but I don't really fit well in it anymore. It's a Capizio, petite, small. Um, my butt sticks out of this when I wear it. It's very short. <laughs> That's the longest part of the skirt. So I love this skirt. I really, really love it. And it always still looks really flattering, which is weird. It's kind of like how these skirts are too. So these are like the Balanchine skirts, like the bullet point skirts. These should not look good on me based on my body type, but they actually kind of do. Like it's weird. I have two of these. I think I have a black one in here somewhere too, but I have this one Suffolk. So this is Capizio and this is Suffolk. Um, and then this one kind of looks like that Capizio skirt, which is why it was with it. This is from, hmm, an Etsy shop, Vivace Dancewear. So, and it's just a pretty little, I love, I love floral patterns. So, that's just a pretty little floral pla pattern. Ugh. This one, oh, I love this one. I wanted the circle skirt version, but they were sold out of it. It was from someone else, but this is Vivace Dancewear again, and I just love this print. It's just a gorgeous floral print with gray and pink and cream. Um, and this is a longer version, so I like having a longer skirt sometimes too. It's hard because I have short legs, so sometimes like longer skirts make me feel more covered, but then they make me not look as aesthetic because it makes my legs look shorter than they already are. It's hard. It's a balance. This skirt, um, I'm trying to remember, this is, I think, Jewel Dancewear. Um, but it's an opaque ballet skirt, so you can't see through it, which is also nice when you just have those days where you don't want to have to see everything. And it's just a pretty mint green, seafoam green color. And it's very thick material, so I've worn that one a lot too. What should we do next? Ugh, my obsession with these, like, mint colored skirts is insane. Um, this is, oh gosh, tra Traxiligitin, oh, I got it off Etsy. I can't, guys, I can't. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this or read it. But it's, um, yeah, it's an Etsy shop. Um, but it's this, this very pretty long mint green and I've got the stretchy ribbon in here. It's just, it's very pretty. I've worn it in a lot of my photos and things as well as the ones in here that are not from this person but are from, and she doesn't do it anymore, is Candy and Bagel. Oh, that's not hers. Um, I have two in here from her. They're probably down here, I think, with the other. They're circle skirts, so they have, I have them separately. Let's see here, yeah. And they're gorgeous. I love the fabric. It's just, this is a long one, so it's a really floaty long one with this band in it. Now she does not, I don't think, make any of them anymore. And then she also had made me a shorter one. So I've got this shorter one in here too, which I just, this material is so good. It's so pretty. Um, also in that, I have this one from Ballet Skirts by Lucinda. 
so it's a wrap one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so many guys, I'm not even close. Oh boy, okay. <clears throat> I'm glad some of these have tags because otherwise I don't know where they came from. This is Addy Dancewear. This is just a circle rehearsal skirt. This one I have a hard time with because the band always moves around on me and maybe that's just normal. And I also think the color is not quite my color. It's a little more peachy, blush, pink. So I don't ever know what to wear it with. I don't wear this one as often. Again, it's long with the lines with the long skirts make my legs look shorter, unfortunately. Um, same with this one. I got this one thinking, this is from <sighs> Brittles, Ballerina by Brittles, I don't know. It's, I think it's an ABT dancer that made these, and I have a couple of others of hers too. Something about them, just like, I loved how they look on everybody else, but they just, they didn't look as good on me. This was a reversible one, and it does have a little hook in the back, so it's got a little hook on it. Um, and this is like, it's like black on one side and like cream on the other. And then from her, I also have these two, or three, two, yeah, two, okay. This one's also from her, so she also has the hooks on all of hers. Um, so it's kind of like a long romantic skirt. I want to say Ballerina by Brittles, that's what it is, okay. Um, this one I got in a shorter length, and it's got that little like fun floaty version on the bottom. I don't know what that material is called, but it's really pretty. And then I have a longer version in the lilac, which is also very pretty. Um, just because I wanted them for more floaty shoots and stuff, but for actual class, like, I can't wear them. They look, in, they just look weird on me, I think, because I have wider hips and waist and short legs. Just my proportions didn't look as good with them. But they're still really pretty. And I'm not getting rid of these, so no. <laughs> um, this skirt is from, oh gosh, I wish I could remember. I know I know who this is from. Because they have a lot of skirts. Shoot. But it's a pretty blue, it's a shorter blue, like, circle skirt. Again, the circle skirts just don't look as good on me. It's something about my, because I don't have as much of a defined waist. I have a more square body type. The circle ones just don't seem to look as good on me. This was a Christmas gift that I think I must have saved on Etsy. It is literally the worst made ballet skirt in the history. Like you'd think it looks pretty. It's literally the cheapest thing. But because it was a Christmas present and I don't know what I'm doing with it, I just still have it. That's just one there. Um, let's see here. I have another, now this is a circle skirt. Um, from Le Petit, oh, I can't pronounce it. It's another Etsy shop. Patricia, I don't know. I can't pronounce a lot of these, but it's just an opaque circle skirt. I have used this so much as like an over my ballet clothes kind of thing. Like after class, I will throw this on so I can walk out in a leotard and a jacket. And then with this on, if I had to go to the grocery or something. Um, I wore this around London the day I was doing photos with Aaliyah so that I could just throw this on. It was in some of my photos, but then I could also just throw it on over stuff when we were walking between things, because it's great for that. Um, this is another from Vivace Dancewear, another little floral skirt, little pink and blue florals. Um, let's see here, okay, I think these are all from Di Diane Dancewear. Yes, okay, so this is a pretty white and orange floral print from Diane Dancewear. It's another um, wrap skirt. I think this one is as well. It's like a, a grayish, yep, yeah, it's Diane Dancer again, a grayish blue color with these purple florals. So it's very pretty too, a little shorter length. Um, this is an old, old skirt that I think I got off Etsy a long time ago. Yeah, I don't know. It even has like a hole in the band to put like the ribbon through. It looks pretty, but I just have never been able to make it look good on me. I don't know if it's because there's no stretch to it or what. But at the same time, it's so pretty, I can't seem to get rid of it, so I haven't. Oh boy, okay. This was more when I really wanted more coverage. This is, I'm pretty sure, oh no, it's Capizia, it's not body wrappers. But it is literally a long, opaque, black rehearsal skirt. Also, for those classes where I felt like I was the only one not wearing black because I was in class with the teens, which honestly really didn't matter, but I felt like it did, I would literally wear this skirt so that I felt like I had something because I was never going to not wear a skirt, but I still felt like I blended in enough. So that's what that's for. Oh my goodness. Okay, here's the other bullet point skirt that I have. This is Suffolk as well. I don't think I liked this one as much as the teal green one that I have. It's a little black one. But again, I got it for the same purpose as the other ones I had so that I felt like I could wear black in my own way without having to not wear a skirt in class because I can do that. And sometimes I would use this one. It's not black, but it looks like it. Um, this is from Lillian Hope. This is, I love this skirt. I don't know what it is about it, 
but I just really love like the print. It's like a very, very fine floral and it's like this dark blue with little tiny pink blossoms on it and it's like a good long length. It does have this one weird spot here where like the fabric like has a square in it. I don't know what happened there, but I just always try and fold the skirt over that part so you don't really see it because you really don't notice it. Um, but otherwise, it's a beautiful, beautiful dark blue skirt that just looks really nice. And it's great, again, for a day when you're just not feeling as confident or comfortable. Going through all this is making me want to just put it all on and do classes. But yeah, I'm having a little procedure done today. So I'm kind of just, I'm on medicine that makes me a little dizzy <laughs> until I go, which is also why I'm not working. But I'm filming videos because we're so busy at work, I don't have time to film videos and our weekends are so busy. I get off work at four now and I'm just like dead right now. So I don't feel like filming videos after work now. This is Eurotard. It's just a very vibrant purple. I don't even know why I have that because I'm not into vibrant colors, but it's there. I think I've had this for a really long time. I've had this for a really long time. Okay. This one is kind of a joke anymore because this is like that Capizio one. It does not cover my butt. I think this actually is Capizio. It doesn't have a tag on it anymore, but I'm pretty sure it's so, it's a sheer dark blue and it just doesn't cover much. So I don't wear it much. This one I really like. I just kind of never know what to wear it with. It kind of has to go with my blacks. I wish I had the tag in here because I can't remember who it's from. It's a girl I follow on Inst I followed on Instagram for a long time. Oh, he's got a little hole in it. Um, but I loved it. It's like this maroon polka dotted long ballet skirt and just the fabric is so soft and nice. I love that. This skirt, I can't remember where this one came from. Oh, there's a tag. Hang on, there's a tag. AK Dancewear, okay. This is from AK Dancewear. This is like a reversible purple and black lace so you can wear it on the black side too and then it's got purple lace on the other side i like it it just for some reason it just feels flattering to me and i don't know if it's because like i'm not as much a dark colors person and i don't know what to wear it with this is one i literally got off discount dance years ago for photo shoots it's literally like this weird costumey high low skirt but it actually looks really good on so i won't get rid of it this i wanted to love so badly and it was not cheap when I got this, oh gosh, this is from Repetto, and it's their reversible rehearsal skirt. So on the outside, it's got this pretty purple, it's got this wide band, you tie it, and then the inside is this pink color, so you can reverse it to be that color. And it looks so good on everybody else, but because I have such short legs, it just doesn't look good on me, it looks ridiculous. But now I wanna wear it again because I just, I want to. But anyway, I really like that. This is another rehearsal skirt. Um, circle skirt. I don't know who this is by. It's almost the same color as the other one I have, which I'm not sure how I ended up with this unless someone gave it to me. But it, this one looked a little better on me, and I think it's because the length was slightly shorter. Again, the rehearsal skirts, the circle skirts, just do not look good with my short legs and my weird, like, I don't have much of a defined waist. I just don't. I'm just, like, built very straight. So, because of that, things just look different on me. But that's all the skirts. Okay, so on that last note with the skirts or with the leotards, like I said, I'm not going to try them all on now, but if there's stuff that you see and go, oh, I'd love to see what that actually looks like on, leave a comment and tell me if you can in the best way <laughs> which one it is, and I will try and find time to do that. Um, most likely on my Instagram, because it's hard to make a tiny little YouTube video on that, whereas Instagram I can do it in stories or something. But um, yeah, I can try and do that sometime. Obviously not today. Um, okay, I don't even know where to start with this. <laughs> Let's just pull them out and go. All right, this is, sometimes I don't even know where some of these are from. This is Tyler Peck Designs. I have loved this leotard so much. Um, it's very like sheer in ways, but it doesn't look like that when you actually have it on. And it's just really flattering. Um, I have it in black too, because I really like it. So it's probably like right around here in black. Yep, here's the black one. So I bought it twice because I liked it so much that I was like, wow, this is a great leotard. And I like, like I said, try, I was trying to wear the black leotards like the other girls without, wearing the standard black leotard, so I would do this one. Um, but yeah, I love that. I also have it in a, hmm, it might take me a while to find it, the other version with the shorts. It's like a bike tard kind of thing. Mm, here it is, I think this is it, maybe. No, that's not it, okay. Well, you know what, we'll, we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> but while we're at it, here's all black leotards. Might as well just go through all those first, I guess. Oh, here it is. So this is the Tyler Peck bike tard version. It's a little different, um, but it's got the shorts. I don't love how it looks on me, at least at the moment. So I don't, I, I just more of a skirt person. Um, this is an extremely simple block leotard that I have had forever. And it's just got a little low back to it. I know it's hard to see right now. 
That's all it is, very simple. I don't really wear this leotard much. It's also from Block because it doesn't look good on me. And I think it's because I don't like V-necks. It also has long lacy sleeves. It just, I don't know, it's an interesting one. And it's got this like hook up here. Like I wore it occasionally, but it just, it was not my favorite. And it's got a giant open back, which I don't know that you can see that. But yeah, this I love. I just recently got this in the last few, last year or two. I wish I'd had it more when I was doing classes. Um, I actually have it in another color now too. This is the Nicolet Leotard. Um, it has one, it has adjustable, it really is made for more body types because one has adjustable straps, which are great for people like me who need that. It also has these, you can see the strings sticking out a little on the sides here because basically it has like an adjustable leg line. So you can like cinch the leg up higher and make it a higher legged leotard so it makes your legs look longer. Um, I have it in another color too. This. I just won this, so that's why I have it. I really don't like this leotard. It is just the cap sleeve one from Gator Minden, which you can pull this down to. It's got a little string in it you can pull down, so it's a little more of a v-neck, but it just does not look good. I don't look good in cap sleeves like that. I also had it in purple. I literally won it. That's why I have it. Um, I was like, oh, okay. This is from Ballet Beautiful. It's okay. It's not the most flattering on me personally. Um, it's another long, I also don't do long sleeves, long mesh, black sleeve. I think I thought I was going to use it more, um, with like ballet core, like street fashion. Realized I do not like that. So this, I love this leotard. This is the one I got after. So I originally had this leotard. I think it was originally the one from Gainer. Does this say who it's from? Cause I think this is the one I had to get from somebody else. This is so dancer. Okay, this is so dancer because the gainer one, the lace like fell apart, so it's like kind of an off the shouldery lace. It's just really pretty. The gainer one I had was gorgeous, but it fell apart. Um, okay, these are also blackish. Do that. Okay, I use this one a lot. Um, this is Maria Dancewear. It kind of looks like Yumiko's, but they're not, so they're really cheap on discount dance. Um, this. I'm really sad because I saw this on someone else and I got it. It's a Lucky Leo and I usually love Lucky Leos. This one looks awful on me. Um, something about the color is really washed out. It's supposed to be black, but it's like not. It's like this blue. So the second, like it's just a gray, it's really washed out. So the second I put it on, it does like this, where it suddenly is not dark at all. And it looks really bad on me because it just, it, yeah, it looks bad. I like the like mesh, like sweetheart neckline and stuff, but it does not look like it looked on other people. I don't know if I just got a bad batch or what, but. All right, so this is that leotard that I was explaining that I have from Delalo, which my friend ever gave me, and it is like one of my favorite things. Um, and I had to find a skirt to go with it, so I ordered that ballet skirt by Lucinda skirt that I ended up loving so much. So this is the leotard, and it's not normally my colors, but it is so stunning on, like if I could just buy from one brand for the rest of my life, it would be Delalo Milano. I don't know what it is, their leotards are magic. I have two and I want more so badly, but I just can't afford them. So this was gifted to me. And then this one I bought myself and I wore it all the time. You can see it all over my page. I love it. It looks so good all the time. It's this gorgeous like mint sea foamy green and it's got this like beautiful dip in the back. I love it. I do have a harder time finding uh, skirts that I like to wear with this one sometimes, but I really, really love it. My other favorites are going to be my Lucky Leos, aside from that one that did not work. This one has always been like one of the most flattering leotards I have ever worn. Um, it was like a custom design one so that I picked that like um, that laced top. But it is so... The only thing I don't like about the Lucky Leos is they all have really high backs. And I wish they had lower backs because that part I'm okay with having a lower. Like I have... So this is a three quarter sleeve. I have this one from them that I wear all the time. You guys see this all over my page. And I love it and it's fully lined, but it has this high back and then this like lining kind of sticks up from the back sometimes. That's like my only complaint. Otherwise, it just always looks good on me. It looks like pure compression magic on me. I don't know how to explain it. And then I have this one from them too, which I will say this style doesn't look as good on me, but the leotard like is still extremely flattering when I wear it. So I think that's all my lucky Leo ones. I think, yeah, okay. Nope, this is also Lucky Leo. Hang on, I do love this one and I wear this one a lot too. Again, the style is a little weird, but it ended up working really well on me. Um, this is a really pretty pattern. It has a super low back on this one, so I really liked this one. This I got when I was at the Art of Motion Adult Ballet Summer Intensive this summer um, from their little ballet shop they had there. And I love this 
it is too big, but I just wanted it so badly, and they don't make it anymore, I don't think. And the brand is, gosh, Dance to Paris. I really wanted, there's a blue one they have that I really want, but this is like a large, I think, and I was like, yeah, adult large, and I was like, oh gosh, I wear an adult small and medium, or yeah, adult small, sometimes a medium in leotards, but the print is just stunning, and I just love it, so, and it's got this pretty long back, or low back again. I make it work, it's it's a little big on me, but I wish I had it in the right size, but they didn't make it anymore in that size. This, <laughs> I stupidly didn't know that this is the most compressive of the Catherine Morgan leotards, so I got a small, I should have gotten a medium, that is a lesson learned because it has so much material, it's really tight. Um, so when I wear it, it does kind of like stretch a lot on me, which made me nervous that it's like ripping a little bit of the mesh, but then again, that's just because I have the wrong size. Um, otherwise, it is a stunningly gorgeous leotard. It looks so good on. It's so flattering because it's very compressive. Like, nothing's going anywhere when you wear this. Um, so I love that one. I wanted to love this leotard and this brand in general. This is um, Eleve. I know a lot of people love Eleve. Every time I buy leotards from them, they just don't look good on my body. I don't know what it is. I wanted this one because it was really cool. It had this like off-the-shore, really pretty design. It just makes me look really wide and fat when I wear this, and so does the other one from them, and I'm not really sure why. So my other one from them, it's literally at the bottom, um, is this one. It's very, very pretty design and everything. It's like, it's like that shows all my back fat when I wear it. Like, I don't know, neither of them look that great on me, but they were so expensive, and I still try to wear them, so. This is literally just a plain, I don't even know who this is from, this is Wormois. Literally a plain white leotard just with the pretty princess cut. That's all it is. Just so that it would go with some more of my skirts and things. This, I've always loved this one. This is also from Maria Dancewear. Um, again, looks like a Yumiko, but it's not. Um, I got it off Discount Dance. I love this one. It looks so good on and it's so comfy. Um, this one, okay, I said I hate cap skirts. I bought this because this is like what they were in Find Me in Paris, which is a cheesy ballet uh, TV show on Hulu and I freaking love it. Um, it's about time travel and ballet. It's very weird, but it's really fun to watch. I haven't watched it in a while, but this is just like a pretty blush cap sleeve. Um, you wouldn't think that this would look good, but actually, because on me, generally they don't. For some reason, I love this one. I don't know what it is, but I love this one. So it actually looks really good. Maybe it's because it's more compressive and the gainer one is just very thin material. I don't even know if I still have that other game, but I'm not seeing it in here, so I might have actually given that one away because I was like, nope. Okay, this one, I wanted to love it. It's Premier Collection by Body Wrappers. It's this gorgeous baby blue, Cinderella blue. Where's the front of it? Okay, it's got these like really weird strappiness to it. Hang on. <laughs> so it's like this, um, and it's got a lot of strappies back here. It just doesn't fit me well. It like comes down really low, and I don't know, it's not... Maybe I needed a tighter fit, but I think that's a small, so I don't know. This is why finding leotard sizes is so hard for someone who's petite like me. I have short legs and a short torso. Okay, so this one is also in that video I did recently. This is also from Adagio Ballet Boutique. And I do really like this one. I learned, though, recently I don't like things with tie straps, especially in ballet. So, like, it's really fun. It's got these, like, olive and white tie, and it's really pretty on. It's just the straps drive me nuts. So that's the only reason I don't use that one as much. Now the other one from her that is like my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite leotards that I could wear this every day is this. It is the most beautiful square neck leotard. From here it looks very plain, but you guys have seen pictures of me on Instagram and stuff. It is stunning and it's got a square back. And it's like something about this line too, like just makes you look really, really good. Um, let's see, this is the other Nicolet leotard. It's the exact same as that black one. So it's got the adjustable straps, the little pinched front, and then the adjustable um, leg line down here. So, oh, there's more black leotards down there that I missed. This is the one that everybody in the company had to wear. So I had bought it so that I kind of blended in a little more because I thought it looked really flattering on them all. I think it's motion wear, which they don't make anymore. I think, yeah, motion wear. And it's just this like steel gray kind of one um, with a low back. I just wore a lot so that I could blend in a little more, especially at Nutcracker rehearsals. These, I wanted to love these Suffolk leotards. Suffolk leotards just do not fit me. I don't know what it is, they are built weird. Their shoes are great, their leotards are awful, at least in sizing, that's all I can say. Like, the design and everything is stunning, the fit is awful. So it's like this, 
um, and it's got this like little hole in the back and it's got the shimmery bottom. It just, they're built like almost for people with really long torsos or something. Cause I've tried multiple ones. My mom literally had to alter these for me so that they could fit me better because they were falling off of me. Like you can see where we had to alter it. So, um, yeah, but it's, they're pretty leotards. They just, and then the skirts didn't even fit at all. I literally had to give those skirts away. They were so bad. Um, I don't know that I have any others from them in here, but I definitely still have more stuff coming. This, I wanted to love it so bad because it reminds me of the Ballet Rosa one. Um, this is by, hmm, I don't know. There's just a crown on it. I want to say this is Maria. I think it is Maria, actually, now that I think about it. It's just a very open leotard. So this is the front, and then it's literally just open. And I think the problem is it's too open on the sides, so then, like, my sides are, like, hanging. I don't like that. I love it, though. I really want it to work. This has gotten so much wear, which is funny because it's not normally my color. I think this is so damn sad. Um, but it's just really pretty. And I bought it used, I think, too. But um, it's just got this really pretty lace back. It just, like, the color and everything just looks really good on. Wasn't expecting it. All right, let's grab these black ones really quick. This one was just fun. Everybody else had these high neck, like, zip up ones, and I wanted one, so I got this one. It was block. This is when I worked at the dance store. And so you just zip it up, and it's just got this meshy material. It's very, very, you know, is what it is. This was also from AK Dance Wear, and I just think this one, again, it's the cap sleeve thing. It just wasn't my style. Like, the dark colors are not my style, and then the cap sleeve was not my style. So it just never, I don't wear it much if it didn't look good on me. This was when I first started back, and I felt like I couldn't ever not wear a bra with my leotards, so I bought this one with a built-in bra, and honestly, it's too much. Um, so it's just got like lace kind of tops and it's kind of a v-neck. It doesn't look good on me. Hence why it sits in the bottom. This also, this one isn't as terrible as I thought. I wore it during COVID when I was doing classes at home and I was like, it's not as bad as I thought. Because then I, when I did that, I tried to wear, because I was doing class every day, I tried to wear all of my leotards and skirts. You can go back and see all that. Um, this is from Ballet Beautiful and it's just very shimmery pink. Um, it does have a lower back and it does have the pinched neck and it's it's just weird like I don't know the material and stuff it's like wait it's too shiny for me this I have worn a lot it's just that it's really low and that bothers me this is New York City Ballet um, leotard by dance skin um, it's just it does have adjustable straps but I literally have them adjusted as tight as they'll go and it's still just really really low on me and then it has a low back too but I did really like it so I've worn it a lot okay I think the only ones left are the weird ones. Oh, no, there's some more normal ones at the bottom. Let's grab those first. Okay. This is Wear Moi. I think it's the same as that white one I have. It's just a purple. So, because I didn't, at that time I didn't have any purple leotards. These are Capizio leotards. I wanted to love this pink one so bad, but it's too small and it's really tight. I think that's the one that's really tight. And it's just very plain. So, it's just a plain square necked one. This is a bodysuit from like Forever 21, but I saw other dancers wearing them and I was like, well, I'm gonna try that. It's okay, it's very thin and not compressive. This is the one I had to use for musical theater to change, so it's just a plain nude capizio. And then this, I loved, and I used to wear it all the time. It's starting to really show its wear. It's really too small. It was from capizio, it was on clearance, it was from capizio, um, but it's like this pretty, material and then it's got this like lace up back look that I liked on it. Oops. Hang on. So it's just, it's way too small, especially now because I have gained weight since I bought this. So I'm like, okay, we're not going to be wearing that anytime soon. Okay, now the weird ones. These ones have skirts attached. I wanted to like some of these, but they're just built for people with different body proportions. This one, you'd think like it looks really pretty off the shoulder. It's got this little skirt. I don't know what it is. It just looks really, really bizarre on me. And so I just can't. And same with this one. I wanted to like this one. That one, this one I got off Poshmark. This one is from Premier Collection by Body Wrappers. Okay. Um, I think Tyler Peck was wearing this one, and I think that's why I was like, oh, I want to try that. It's like got this, it looks like a costume without being one. Like it's got the skirt built into it. But I think it's just that the torso is too, too long for me. Like, so the skirt was sitting so weird on me. Because it's got like this dual layer white and purple skirt, and it's really floaty and pretty. It just looks odd on me. And then the other weird one is this, I wanted this. This is on me. It's a Capizio Juliet style, like, 
costume. So it's a leotard with the skirt. Um, and again, I just felt like it looks odd on my body type. This one is not like it's, it's not a low, it's not a long torso thing. I don't know what it is. It just like, it just made me, I almost look pregnant. And that's kind of what I was like, oh, that is not the goal we're going for here at all. So that is all my leotards and skirts. I know you only got to really see one of the tutus, but the others are kind of put away right now. That already took me a long time, so I'm really sorry if you did not want to watch this much of a video. But if you, again, if there's any of these that you like really like are like, oh, I'd love to see one, they might be on my Instagram, which is Allie underscore on underscore point. So it's Allie on point. Um, I think it's linked below too, or on my main page. But you can always go look there too. Um, it may take a little bit to go through them, but you can look there and see where I've tried a lot of them on or used them and like actually worn them to class and things. I know it's been a while, so it may take a little while to find, although I haven't posted a lot in the last year. So, but yeah, go check those out there. And then if you still are like, hey, I can't find this one anywhere, but I'd love to see it, just send me a message through, probably through Instagram would be easier just because it's easier for me to just share it in a story or in a message because I can't make a whole YouTube video just on like one thing, uh, wearing like one outfit. That's just, it, it, that would be too short of a video. So anyway, that is all of mine. And yes, I know I have some in here that I don't really wear, but like I kept all the black ones for a reason. You never, you know, it's always good to have black leotards like for rehearsals and things. I did wear a lot of those. Even these ones I didn't like as much. I did wear a lot of them in the end of my ballet time with the company that I was doing stuff with because I was not as comfortable with my body and wearing black leotards made me feel like I didn't stand out as much because I wasn't as good as the other dancers and things. And I just felt like help me blend in a little bit better, which is why I did it. Um, so yeah. I really kind of want to go put one of these on now and dance, but we'll see. I don't know that I have the energy for that today. We'll see. Um, maybe just doing some ballets, balances and releves in the kitchen because this is still just a mat on top of carpet right now. I just thought it looked nice to put it here in front of like my mirror and my point shoes and stuff for the videos. But eventually sometime maybe this year, we're hoping we can put hard floor in this room and this will be my ballet space. Um, I am going to, I have filmed a ballet book video, so either that's already up or it's coming up. I don't know which order I'll post all these. And then I know people ask for a, a video about point shoes for low arches. I will try my best on that one. I am not a point shoe fitter, but I have a lot of experience with point shoes. So I will give you my two cents on that. And I may film that today too. They will not go all up on the same day, but I'm trying to get all this done while I have time. But like, I, as usual, just leave me comments in here on there's any videos that you want to see anything on. Even if it's like ballet or photography related, like those are the most of the things I do, but like, you just let me know. Like I am not comfortable teaching a class. That's something I will never do on here. Um, I also, I know people asked about different techniques of ballet training and I don't know enough about that to do that one, unfortunately. I think it's very interesting, but I really don't, I don't even, I couldn't even tell you which technique I was trained in, to be honest. So um, I don't know enough about that to share about that. But if there are any of those like type of videos, anything at all that you guys are like, oh my gosh, I'd love to see like a video talking about this or going through this, like just let me know because sometimes those thoughts just don't come to me. Like I'm like, oh, people wouldn't want to watch that. And then you guys are like, I don't want to see that. And I'm like, oh, okay. So just give me ideas if you have them. Um, I'm going to keep rambling. So anyway, that's it. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day.